the Duke of Cornwall is first in line to the throne, while the Duke of Cambridge is second in line. Over the years, there have been calls for Charles to step aside and let his son take the crown after the Queen. An express.co.uk poll, which ran from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. today, asked, should Prince Charles step aside and let Prince William be king? The poll received 3,522 votes with 61%, 2,467, of people urged Charles to step aside and let William be king. Just 38%, 1,551, said Charles should not give up the line of succession while 1%, 57, said they don't know. One reader said, Charles has the wrong morals, Camilla just isnt up to it and is disliked massively because of what they did to Diana. Charles should let William and Kate take over, they are perfect for a long continuous reign with no baggage and have the right attitude, health and stamina for public service. Another person said, Charles should make the ultimate sacrifice and step aside, not because HES incapable of doing the job, but because the institution of monarchy needs long-term stability, especially after the recent disruption it's had. Charles can't ignore the fact that HES in his 73rd year and cannot offer the longevity that's needed. Several other express.co.uk readers called for Charles to take the throne and let William have some life and fun with his family. One person said, no absolutely not. Two reasons. Charles has been heir apparent since he was a gawky teenager and deserves the right to rule. And why not let William have some life and fun with his family and before he has to take on the burden of office. It'll come all too quickly. A third added, Charles should be king. Let William have his family life for as long as he can. William has been through a lot, has been a good son and grandson to the Queen. When William does eventually become king he will make a good one. As for the other son I will not name, he should be taken out of line altogether, he is not worthy.